Hey everyone, I'm Didem and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a social links page using LinksTab, a great tool that makes it easy to organize all of your social profiles in one place. To create a page looking like this, we need to register for our LinksTab. So I'm going to open the official LinksTab repository and I'm going to fork this project, okay? So you can also read the readme file, there, are, there is a lot of information here teaching you how to get set up with LinkStab, but I'm going to fork this project. Let's fork it and let's clone this project. I'm going to open my terminal, so I'm going to say git clone and then we're going to clone the LinkStab. Let's change directory into the LinkStab folder. And I'm going to open Visual Studio Code here. So after cloning LinkStab, you're going to make a change in the registry YAML file. So these are the people already registered for LinkStab. And we're going to be adding ourselves into this file. So the very first thing in here is the username. And the second one is actually your GitHub username, okay? This has to match your GitHub username. And this one is, the very first thing is your uh, username. So this is going to be appearing after HTTPS links dev, and it will be this one, for example. Let's open this and see. Okay, let's open this. As you can see, this is coming after the actual links that URL. Okay, so you need to pick this uh, very unique. Okay, this has to be unique. So let's open. So your username cannot be one of those usernames. And one other restriction is it cannot be one of these restricted usernames, okay? It cannot be dashboard, it cannot be contact, and any of these ones. Okay, so I'm going to be using my GitHub username as my uh, LinkStab username. Okay, my GitHub username is also this one. Okay, let's save this. Let's see the changes. I've added myself and we're gonna commit these changes. Let's say register this one. Let's say yes. Let's push our changes. Okay, so now let's go to the GitHub. Okay, let's go to the GitHub and let's open a pull request. So the base repository is going to be the official links that repository and the base branch is the main branch and this is our repository so we need to make changes like we need to merge this into the base repository okay our branch is also main so these are the changes we made and i'm gonna create a pull request so let's create the pull request okay after doing this we need to we need to wait for the changes to be merged, okay? We need to wait for the approval. So once our pull request has been reviewed and approved and it's merged to the master branch, we're going to be seeing our page with this link. So the username will be username will be this one. Okay. So one other thing we need to do here is we need to create our links. So for this, we can fork this project. So let's fork this. I'm going to fork this project. So this is going to be where we defining our links. Let's copy this also and clone this project. I'm going to quit this one. And I'm going to clone this. 
and then let's get into the my links open our favorite editor and we're gonna make changes in the page.json file so the things you see here is actually the same thing where you see this one so this repository holds your links actually so whatever information you put here is going to be appearing in here so these are the links you're going to be adding and this is your like username okay this is your name and the de description like description is this one and the image is image url is this one and we're gonna edit this file let's say okay i'm gonna add my name and i'm gonna call myself youtuber okay copy i'll suggest something and the image url is going to be my twitter okay let's open my twitter let's copy the image address let's take this and then we need to add these links okay you don't need to have everything like you can remove one of those like you can only have for example linkedin maybe you can only have the github okay let's say it's github so it's gonna be https github.com like this and i'm also gonna add my twitter let's copy this I'm going to have my GitHub and the Twitter profiles. Okay. And the LinkedIn, let's remove this. You can have a Buy Me Coffee link. And Instagram, Medium, YouTube. You can even add your side project. Okay, let's remove this. I'm not going to be adding too much of links here. Okay, remove the buy me coffee link. And we're gonna be having two links, okay? And the one thing is we have this custom CSS file, so we can definitely edit this one. Like for example, the custom name it has this black color. So it's it's actually this one. So this is the black color, okay? And in the buttons have this color we can also edit this for example i'm going to be editing this and once this is visited like i'm definitely not a good front-end developer but okay i'm going to change this a bit just to show you what you can do with this Let's make it like this. Okay, we edited the custom CSS. You can definitely do so much more. And after doing this, we're gonna we're gonna commit updated links. Let's commit our changes. And let's also push. Awesome, we did it. Okay, once our PR is merged, we're gonna be able to see our page. So it's going to be looking like this. So the page is not found right now, but let's see. Let's see. We have the pull request, like the official link style repository has this pull requests. okay and this has to be merged so after this has been merged we're going to be able to see our page here and now our pull request has been approved and merged into the main branch we can finally open our links page let's open it and ta-da this is our links page we have two github and twitter links we have this youtuber description and this custom css is also applied here 
That's it.